Middlesex Aerospace, a company formed over 70 years ago. They strive to deliver excellence in everything they make. The business was started in 1945 by my father um, and we've, uh, we've been through several iterations. But now principally uh, we make aircraft components and we're involved in components such as landing gear, gearbox systems for helicopters, transmission components, propeller systems and much, much more. One of the things that we've taken the opportunity of doing during uh, the current 18 months that we've all been suffering through is actually trying to change the business so that we build back better, to use the modern parlance. And part of that is that we've divided the business into value streams, one of which is aluminium prismatic. We do other areas as well, such as hard metals and spares and short orders. And that is designed in, in really to enhance our customer service now and also in the future as business slowly starts to pick up again. The Matsura is really at the heart of our aluminium prismatic section. Um, it's making a wide variety of components um, for, at a very high rate of utilisation. And interestingly enough, um, we're making components on the milling machine now uh, that in former times we actually turned. Um, now the advantage of that, of course, is that, um, that the machine can be, can be cutting, cutting a component at 2 o'clock on Monday morning um, without an operator there, whereas of course if there had to be a, a lathe, then there would have to be a person there. So maybe the cycle times were a little bit slow, slower on the turning, but of course if the machines are manned, then the efficiency is there. So that's been a real breakthrough. Making investment in machinery is only the start. What about planning the production and optimising the output? So uh, I am a value stream manager. So basically I overlook and manage uh, one of our value streams, which is aluminium prismatic. So we've got few machines here, uh, which, uh, which one of them Matsura is, is, is in the heart of Ali prismatic. What we do, we, we have our top level plans of what we need to get to our customers and we break down those plans into production plans. And uh, then again, those plans are being broken down into, um, into the uh, plans for the machines and what we need to output every week, every month etc and then we monitor the output of, of those plans. So in amongst this, this, this workshop of a, a myriad of machines, in your opinion then, is this the one that makes your life the easiest, the MAM? Yes it is and basically having it in, you know, in heart of Ali Prismatic has been, uh, has been very good and has uh, resulted in improved efficiency and productivity which is very important for us as well. One of the company's core values is investing in apprenticeship programmes. Between 1950 and 1980, they recruited no less than 1,000 apprentices, at which point they stopped counting. So I'm coming up to six years now at Middlesex. I've been an apprentice um, for the first three years and then worked in quality for the next three. So your first year you mainly spend um, in the tool room using all your manual machines, you learn how to use or operate manual lathes, manual milling machines and you produce all your parts for like your tool making spice and stuff. Like it's really nice to see people quite shocked that I am an engineer, that they wouldn't assume I am, so it's nice to get appreciated. <laughs> and what's your day to day role now? You've obviously finished your apprenticeship many years ago, what, what are you doing now uh, yeah, on a day to day basis? So I am a quality engineer so I just deal with mainly all of our supply chain quality issues and our customer quality issues as well. So I'm a quality engineer, I look after all the quality roles within the AP value stream so I mainly look after internal supplier and customer issues. I like to do quite a lot of um, problem solving so working alongside the engineers to solve any issues we have but also working with continuous improvement to trying to make things a lot more streamlined, um, inspecting things better, using better equipment. We do a lot of in-process inspection um, as well as using the probing actually on the Matsura so it's a really good um, sort of piece of equipment because it just takes out the human error of setups. So it, basically what it does is it makes sure that when the part is loaded in, it's loaded in the correct way just to make sure that we reduce our scrap so we don't get any errors coming out. And how, how much have things improved when it comes to quality? How much easier has the machine made your job? Yeah, it's made, it's made it a lot easier actually as you've answer. Um, I think we've managed to reduce our cost of non-quality by up to 65%. Um, so actually the, um, where the machine has multi pallets and actually holds all the tools required for the jobs, I think we've also been able to improve our first time by 20%, so 
So totaling up that up to about 98.2%. So we've really seen some really good improvements. When I decided that we wanted to move down this road, we went to have a look at Matsura. The, the style of machine that we're talking about here is really one that's got very deep roots. It's, um, it's, it's a progressive generation of a machine that's been in service for a very long time. There's nothing wrong with that, because it, but it's, it, is a, it is really the, a world-class machine of this particular type. Very high levels of reliability, very high levels of people who, having bought one, will buy another. And by the way, I'm going to fall into that class too. Uh, probably the same size and larger, um, and um, yeah, the, 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 it's, it's really the reliability and the, 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 the fact that you really can genuinely get very high levels of machine utilisation out of the, out of the machine is, is, is excellent.